Slayer. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Fardkin. Today I'm bringing you a commentary on what Halo 5 needs to do to be successful. Episode 3. <coughs> yeah, as you can probably just tell, I've uh, got a cough coming. I've also still got my cold. So, I may not sound particularly good. Um, yeah, just bear with me, um, because it won't be very good. Um, this gameplay is um, half decent. I've got like one death and like 13 kills or something in uh, this, but uh, they demand the sniper off of me, and I'm just like, yeah, why not? You just take it. Go for it. I, I don't really care. Um, anyway, yeah, this episode is going to be on the weapons and armor. Now, I might subdivide it into just armor and weapons, because uh, I've got quite a lot to talk about in um, in relation to armor so here goes um, armor uh, first of all as I talked in the uh, episodes about the XP ranking system um, you should be able to get credits still and um, as I said there should be a mix between um, getting credits and uh, in like competitive ranks so um, the credits should be used towards um, getting things like armor um, buying new armors and stuff like that, like Halo Reach um, involved, but also not only the credits you get, but perhaps also accomplishments. Um, accomplishments would be a really great thing to um, uh, to be able to uh, get on with. So, say if you do all the missions on Legendary, like in Halo 4, you get the Mark V helmet, or you get one of the the Master Chief helmet, and you'd also get the uh, bronze uh, visor colour uh, the one as Master Chief also you get, I completely forgot about this, but you also get the emblems um, they'll be pretty cool uh, they should just keep the same ones that they had in previous games, they've been pretty cool maybe mix up a little bit, but not too much as um, I've always favoured the Phoenix emblem with the shield on the outside of it, that's always been my favourite and I've kept that into Halo 4 from Halo Reach as well um, the armor, different armor customization is from, uh, you can have different visor colors, so uh, you can have the turquoise, you can have the green, you can have blue, gold, black, uh, those were each ones, and then you obviously got green, Halo 4, um, the bronze one you can get. Um, also the torso, now this is where Halo 4 lacked, the lack of armor customization was incredibly poor, and compared to Halo Reach, um, the cu the customization in Halo Reach was insane. Literally, there was so much to customize. It was just purely brilliant. And you could have the bond bond lova thingy. You could have the your knife on no matter where. You could also have your knife on the shoulder pads, which you could change. Uh, I'm not even sure. You might you probably could, but you I wasn't. It, there was just no customization and like the shoulder pads. There was like hardly anything for the shoulders. I'm telling you. It was literally ridiculous, and um, that is where it sort of lacked. Also, you could change um, your legs; uh, they they could be customized. Um, I'm trying to think of what else can be customized here. Um, you could also change your armor effects. So you had the pestilence, you had the grunt birthday party, you had the inclement weather, you had um, the hearts. You could have all of them, or and also, oh, that was brilliant, wasn't it? You could have the flaming helmets if you pre-ordered the game or got the legendary edition or whatever it's called. You could either get the blue flame or the orange flame. And that stuff was so cool. Literally, you were running around with a flaming head. That is why my um, my YouTube picture is that flaming helmet. Because in-game, it just looks so awesome. Like, I never got to have it because I never pre-ordered the game. I got my Xbox halfway through Halo Reach's lifetime and um, so I never really got to use it but um, nevertheless it just looks so freaking awesome just seeing a guy with the flaming helmet and that's what made the game really the, the customization just progressed the game so far uh, in terms of aesthetics and if you combine the armor effects with the aesthetics of Halo 4 which let's be honest were way way advanced for the current generation of consoles, I mean, this was the best looking game on um, current slash previous gen. I mean, 
it is clearly the best looking game on the Xbox 360. Pretty much ever, to be honest with you. Um, it just looks phenomenal. And I, so combine that with the the high definition that um, 180p or 170, 70, 720 that the Xbox One will give you. The results are going to be endless. Anyway, guys, um, that's enough from me. I'm um, going to be talking about weapons in the next episode. Hope you have enjoyed this commentary. I've been your boy, Farwell Kid, and I'm signing out. Peace.